Hi guys, it's me again, Vlad Me FPV, and uh, what I have here is a 4-in-1 ESC from uh, Skystars, and uh, it's called a Kramam 50 amp. It's a BL Heli S 4-in-1 uh, ESC. It's not a BL Heli 32, and it supports up to um, 6S. So if you're using BL Heli S or if it's in BL Heli, BL Heli S you can do up to um, D-Shot 600. Let's open it up and see what's inside. You got a sticker. Oh nice. So I don't know if you could see that but uh, yeah that's the ESC. Uh, what else comes with the package? You got, I think this is uh, 14 gauge wires. There you go, black and red. Uh, you got a XT60. You also have some, uh, you know, those uh, wires that connect to a flight controller. So it also has some uh, ramp rubber. Uh, dampers and a let's open this up there you go that one now uh not all flight controllers might have this so just make sure that uh you know you count the pins uh, of your flight controller and uh, if you if it doesn't if it's bigger or smaller then you can just change the other end so basically this one most ESCs come with this uh, or four in one come with this it's just cleaner on the build because you just you know well it's gonna fold up because your flight controller is on top now if your flight controller requires more pins then you just have to, to change this end it came with a spare, but uh, it's the same size. So, anyway, so you got uh, you know this type of FD6 XD60. You can just once you put your these ones here, solder it there. You can just cap it. It's cleaner. So yeah, now it is. You also have a what's the rating on this one? 35 volt, 560. That's more than enough for a 6s so yeah that's uh what it came with and uh let's weigh it because on the spec sheet it says it's 17 grams so let's put it on the weighing scale 16 so it's even lighter now let's compare it with the other ESCs that uh, I've used I got the Icon 55 amp that's heavy in my mind it's a gram because of those uh, solder beads they already put in now I also use a lot of uh, Mambo stack so this is the I think this is the 40 amp one much lighter so anyways it doesn't have a heat sink like this one so that might be so that's the weight of uh, the CS41 ASC. Now, I will uh, let's inspect it. Yeah, it's uh, it has a ground uh, that's a lipo battery and an AC, and then you got NC and then current. So this one doesn't have a a BS a B a, sorry a B a, B E C because there's no five volt. So Pay attention to that if you're going to get this and your flight controller can only take uh, 5 volts, uh, this might not work or you could uh, buy those uh, 5 volt, uh, sorry, 6S or 8S to, to 5 volt uh, transformers or step down transformers, really small ones or uh, you know change your flight controller but anyways uh, this will go to a freestyle rig and I will uh, We'll test it. So far, yeah, the build quality is pretty impressive actually. It has a coating, so uh, if you're gonna conformal coat this, you can avoid this part and then just put conformal coating on these. Now, the pad seems to be, you know, very decent. 
it doesn't peel off right away but again we'll we, we'll only test that uh once it's ready installed and see you know if it gets dinged or uh after a crash usually the leads in in my experience you know they they peel off and that's pretty annoying because you and unless you could trace it back the whole ESC is uh basically unusable but anyways guys that's the short video like an unboxing or intro or this uh Ford one ESC from Skystars called Chromalm 50 amp so uh, I will uh, once I put this on the rig I'll also uh, maybe do another video make provide you with uh, what my experience is when you know I power it up and hit the throttle or full throttle see um, if it uh, actually performs uh, better comparable or better than the 401 ESC that I use uh, guys uh, thank you very much if you uh, like what you just watched please do support my channel and uh, subscribe and hit that bell button so that you get notified for the videos that i upload in the future till the next video thank you